Yeah, I'm watching Anthony Edwards here, Minnesota leading Cleveland 34-27. Edwards out there again. Last night hit his head on the rim, blocking the uh blocking the shot to win the game, 44 points. Drawing comparisons to Michael Jordan. I don't know what you think, but I I and I hate I do hate to say this. I really do. But I think LeBron is the best player ever. I think that's correct. I, I I frankly don't think it's I think what Michael did for a generation of basketball could be bigger than what LeBron has done, but as far as just a purely better yeah. sportsman in the game and all the things he's able to do, I, I just don't think Michael could do the things LeBron could do. I love Jordan. But And he might be the greatest scorer ever, he might be the, the greatest killer ever, but I just think LeBron's the greatest basketball player we've ever seen. That's how I feel. But I tell you, not many guys get compared to Michael Jordan. And Anthony Edwards is drawing those comparisons. And it is kind of interesting. You know, when you watch him play, you know, he does look like Jordan some. He looks like he's got a he's got a little Kobe in his game. I mean, he hits his head on the rim. Now, I, a lot of people are making a lot out of that, but I feel like a lot of guys. A lot of guys to... do. I mean, I think that mostly happened because he was going so fast he yeah. wasn't able to control his his body and his speed. But I mean, he said that's the highest he's ever ju- uh, jumped, and I think that's probably the highest I've ever seen somebody jump. It was really impressive in my human life, not in my AI life. It's different. I don't know if you'll remember this. You had me pull a clip of his that we never played. Anthony after, Edwards after uh, they had played against Sacramento. Yeah, I think he had a big game there. Oh, and he was talking. He was talking about how he was going to start. He was going to make a lefty three. Do you remember this? I don't. Yeah. Should we play it? Sure. Uh, left hand jumper. Left hand jumper. Yeah, it's coming. Corner three. It's yeah. coming soon. You saw it, right? It's cash. You saw, I beat Mike. I beat Mike. You see, y'all saw that in the corner. Right? I know you saw it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, that was nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a left hand jumper is definitely coming. If we up in the fourth with 20 plus, and I know I'm about to come out of the game, I'm taking the left hand tray ball. So it's coming. Be on the lookout. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm going to come out anyway. You know what I mean? So I might as well go and give him a reason to take me out. <laughs> By the way, he's a great personality. Oh, he's a character. Really funny. That was after the Blazers game. I remember that now. He said, they were asking, what are you going to do next? He's like, I'm going to hit I'm gonna hit a lefty three. And he's like, and I'm going to do it when we're up in a game and I know I'm coming out because they're going to take me out anyway, so what yeah. are they going to do? Yeah. He's great. Has he done that yet? Has Not he that I'm aware of. The lefty three? Well, I tell you what, man, you know, you think about the comparisons to Jordan. We were just talking about this the other day. The odds to win the NBA title, Minnesota was plus 2,500 just the other day, and the number one seed in the West. Like, I get it. You In the NBA, you have to, you have to win one before you get that respect. See Jokic in Denver. But what if Edwards is, what if he's that good that, and now, of course, Carl Anthony Towns is hurt, so that that yeah. kind of sucks. Still got Gobert in there. Yeah, they still have Gobert, but I mean, if they're going to win a title, they're probably going to yeah, need Cat. Yeah, Cat. Yeah. It's just that, what if you know, like Jordan? I mean, he he won Rookie of the Year, but I was looking at his numbers. He didn't win MVP till his fourth year, and that's kind of and Anthony Edwards has been good every year, but he's gotten better and better and better. That's kind of where Edwards is, and now he's not in the MVP conversation. He probably should be, but he's not because of. You know, Jokic and uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander's having a great year, and Doncic is, you know, Doncic is freaking amazing. Yeah, but there's another guy who's just not going to get that credit until you win the title. Mm -hmm. Anthony Edwards, you know, watch. I don't know, like he's MVP level, and Jordan didn't win an MVP till his fourth year. And by the way, Jordan didn't win a title till his seventh year. Mm -hmm. So I don't know the comparisons. And the other the other way they compare is defense. Yeah. And that's, of course, what Kevin Garnett was talking about last night. Went viral is, you know, Anthony Edwards' defense on that play. He scored 44 points in the game. Yeah. But he commits to defense. Like, dude, he's a... He came from the weak side, like, on yeah. a half-fast break and chased that thing down. It was, and I love that about him. Yeah. Jordan loved to play defense, yep. and so did uh, and so does uh, Edwards. So, I don't know the comparisons. I, I just hope that Edwards, or somebody like Edwards, is the next big thing because LeBron is winding down, you know? It's like... Look at what Otani has done for baseball. 
showing up when he did. Mm -hmm. Uh, Look at, um, you know, you just, well, look at what the Chiefs are doing in the NFL right after the Patriots stepped down as the, as the dynasty and the kind of the team everyone loves to hate, or yeah, everyone loves to hate because they win all the time. You've already got another dynasty in the NFL. I think we need, we need things like that. And you know, who knows, maybe Anthony Edwards in Minnesota can go on a run here. That guy, he's that good. They they have a really good collection of talent there. They, they they there's a reason they're first in the West. I think the West is, I think the West is deeper than the East is, and the fact that they're on top of it speaks volumes about what they're able to do and the talent that they have there. Like you said, I think they'll need Towns if they're really going to make a push, but they might have the right combo of vets and young upstarts well, to really make a run. Vegas doesn't think they're. Or the odds makers, anyway. No, because because you're going to have to go through a gauntlet. You're going to have to go through. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, what if Anthony Edwards is is, is that turning dude? into yeah. the real deal, and we yeah. just we're we're overlooking it? Yeah, they're probably undervalued as far as that's maybe so. Concerned. Yeah, who's more undervalued, them or Oklahoma City? If if fully healthy, because if they had yeah, cap, of course, I would say probably Minnesota more yeah, undervalued. Definitely. Um, the other thing about Jordan, I was just I just had to peek back at his stats. This is what's crazy. Games started. 82, 7. His second year, he only started 7. He had he only played 18. But then after that, 82, 82, 81, 82, 82, 80, 78. Then, of course, he retires. Uh, holding up quotes from Major League Baseball. Uh, 17, then 82, 82, 82. These guys don't do that anymore, do they? Not really. And that was back when, I mean, I, the games were much more physical back then. Way more physical. And that dude's playing 82 games a night. You tell me these guys can't do that? I mean, I honestly think, and this is a whole other conversation. Suka's talked about this plenty, but I think guys' bodies were different back there. I think that there were guys who could be almost as athletic, but now everyone's body is so finely tuned. I think it needs a different degree of rest. I think these bodies can't take the same degree of t- wear and tear without sustaining injury. It's like the guys back then might not have been to jump, jump being able to jump quite as high or run quite as fast as the guys now but they were more durable huh I, I don't know if I well I don't know if I buy that you think they're more they were more durable then yes I mean and like I think about like the NFL too like all these knee injuries all these Achilles injuries all these guys that have the rawest speed and the most like huh muscle mass with no, no body fat that we've ever seen like I, I think that you you need more of that every man makeup and that this is like Ferrari like a Ferrari breaking down like it, it's the the parts are are too expensive too finely tuned and if things don't go exactly right you got a mess on your hands so they're so athletic that now, they're more easily broken down that and, they break down easier yeah that's I, I I kind of believe that kind of well, I, I I generally believe that. I don't have science to back it up, but I think there's a reason hmm. why why dudes back then were able to play 82 games for years and years and years in a row. Or it's just the game's gotten they they just let players get away with that now. True, that's possible. I mean, if you made them, would they would they be hurt more? I, I don't know that they would. But I think there's a lot of guys that are tough and are badasses, and their bodies just don't handle the athletic things that they want to be able to do with well, them and to them. I would say I think that. NBA players are smarter nowadays. They know that they don't have to play 82 games. That's true, too. Oh, my God. Rudy Gobert just airballed a layup. <laughs> How does one do that? He went up for a finger roll, and it just went, <laughs> it just went straight up in the air, not towards the basket. Nice. Fantastic. Uh, anyway, uh, I just think guys guys know now they don't – they can pace them. The star players know they can pace themselves. But, I, but don't you – do you not feel that we see across all sports, like – more freak and season-ending injuries than we used to back then. Not freak, like, but the non-contact stuff. Surely and... there are numbers on that. I'm sure there are. Is there data on that? I because know. I don't. I've never thought about it, but I don't. Off the top of my head, no. I, I just feel like the stars of our past were always playing, and they were never guys who were out half a season or missed multiple. I mean, sure, you had a guy like Bill Walton with the foot injuries or whatever, but for the most part, it felt like the stars of like the '80s and '90s. They were just always playing. Mm, maybe they were tougher. Maybe they were. Just sucked it up. Yeah, we, 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 we got soft. We're all snowflakes now. That's right. Well, I do think the NBA is, you know. Baby soft? Yes. Yeah, we don't we don't disagree on that. Come on. But I would say that, you know, in fairness to the NBA, we were talking about this. Uh, it was the show we were at, the Portland Auto Show. But uh, these, these guys have gotten so good offensively, you kind of can't guard them. 
So this idea that they don't play defense in the NBA, it's just not true. Now, right. some sometimes, I mean, there are guys that because they know they can't stop anyone, they don't really try. They don't want to be embarrassed. So there's a lot of that. There's yeah. there is lollygagging that you know. There's some teams in the league that just don't commit to it, and players in the league that don't commit to it. But boy, I tell you what, man, you can watch guys really try to get after it defensively in this league, and they can't stop it. And it still won't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I, you see that a lot now. That when a guy is performing at his peak offensively, or when a team is. You, they're, they're not going to be stopped. <laughs> you, you need luck to stop them. You need them to miss because their shot wasn't good enough. You can play whatever defense you want. Yeah, so in fairness to the NBA, there's a little bit of that with regards to defense and it being kind of a soft or lazy league. There is a little element of that that needs to be brought up too. But uh, anyway, I, uh, I think I'm an Anthony Edwards fan. You know my two teams are now, the Thunder and the T-Wolves. Those are my two teams. Nice. Conveniently. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that's nice. <laughs> um, question from the Vancouver 4 text line. And I do think this is a good question for this point in time. More famous, Anthony Edwards, the basketball player, or Anthony Edwards, <laughs> the actor? Well, probably the actor. Probably, right? but, like, what's he done recently? You know, like, with the Youngs, well, I don't dead. know. Anthony Edwards? Yeah. Isn't Anthony Edwards dead? Is he? I think he is. Did he die? I think Goose died. Well, he died in the movie, Top Gun. Oh. Am I... Oh, hold on, I just typed in Anthony Goose. That is not his name. <laughs> Oh, he's alive. Sorry. I'm sorry. I killed him off. Did you? Yeah, he's only he's 61. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Maybe I was a... thinking of Top Gun. I, <laughs> yeah, I he mean... went down with the plane. <laughs> That's why you haven't seen him, you idiot. Yeah. No, it's got to be him, right? I think for people our age, yes. But, I mean, for the youngs, I don't know. Because well, again, I don't feel like Anthony Edwards, the actor, I tell you what, has dude. done much recently. The other thing, even line up sports fan. Maybe not NBA guy, but line up sports fan. And and put out the top five, put out Curry, LeBron, uh, Doncic, Jokic, and Edwards as your top five in a lineup. People are going, who the hell's that guy? Yeah, pointing to Anthony Edwards for sure. He's not. Well, and and the things that he's most well known for happened a long time ago, like like Top Gun, like yeah. Revenge of the Nerds, like ER. Oh, you're talking. <laughs> I was like, wait, Anthony Edwards, the basketball player, oh, no. wasn't in Top Gun. <laughs> Other Anthony Edwards now, but yeah, no, I uh, Anthony Edwards is interesting, and, and he's if you haven't watched him play, watch him. And and part of it too is he plays in Minnesota. And again, hey. like I said, what we got to call Joey. Oh, I know, I know. I'm <laughs> I'm wrapping it. 